हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द पेस मैनेजमेंट बाय मॉडिफाइंग इंसेक डेवलपमेंट एंड बिहेवियर दैट इज नथिंग बट द सेमियो केमिकल्स इन दैट सेमियो केमिकल्स द फेरोमोन्स आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस इंसेक्ट बिहेवियर हेयर इफ यू सी द बिहेवियर अल्टरेशन इन इंसेक्ट्स the manipulation of the pest behavior is depend as the use of the stimuli that either stimulate or inhibit a behavior and thereby change its expressions the semi chemical is nothing but the one of the greek word the semi means a mark or the signals it means that the chemical that are able to modify the insect behavior of perceiving organism and sub micro and nanogram level at a sub micro and nanogram level that is the semi chemicals here if you see in this slide uh, these are the two types of the semio chemicals naturally secreted by the insects and the not secreted by the insects in this naturally secreted by the insects the pheromones and the allochemicals are most important the pheromones are mostly it is uh, used in interspecific communication of the insects and allochemicals it is used in interspecific communication in insects in pheromone, pheromones having a two religious uh, pheromones and primary pheromones and allochemicals having a four allomons keromons synomons antimons and the uh, apnomons and it non -se not secreted the repellents attractants and the antifidants let us see one by one the semi chemicals it is a greek word nothing but the signal semi nothing but the signal and the chemical involved in communication it term as the semi chemical and it is secreted by the one of the special gland that is nothing but the exocrine glands and it can be divided into a two groups based on who sent a message and who who received the message and it is classified into two major categories that is the pheromones and the allochemicals uh, the pheromones it is involved in interspecific communications and allochemicals involves in the interspecific communication so let us see what is interspecific semi chemicals or communications uh, these are the responsible for the behavioral changes among the individual of the same species that is pheromones and interspecific semi chemicals these are responsible for the behavioral changes between the individuals of the different species that is the allochemicals the first one is pheromones it is a greek word pherens means to carry and hormones means to excite uh, in 1959 <coughs> the carl carlson and luchers the first time give the term pheromones and nothing but the secretion of the exocrine secretions and it involve in the interspecific communications if you see the definitions uh, the chemical or the mixture of the chemical that is released to the exterior by an organism and that cause a one or more specific reaction in receiving organism of the same species it means that pheromones it is only used in the communication between uh, between the same species of the individuals for example here if you see the flutter dance this flutter dance it is done by the male silk moth to get excited by the female Uh, attracted towards that and she is releasing a bomb call for from her gland that is nothing but the uh, reaction or communication between the male and female of the same species of the silk moth the male moth flutter the flutter dance is doing and here the female moth releases a pheromone that is the bomb 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 call that is the uh, examples of the uh, pheromones uh, two types of pheromones primary pheromones and uh, releaser pheromones primer uh, initiates changes in the development such as maturations they act through gustatory receptors or sensilla for example caste determination and the reproduction in social insect like ants bees wasps and the uh, termites are uh, mediated by the primer pheromones and these pheromones are not of much practical value in the ipm then releaser pheromone this releaser pheromones can be successfully used in the pest management programs and it is act through the olfactory sensilla there are the five types of the releaser pheromones uh, sex pheromones aggregation pheromones alarm pheromones trail marking pheromones and the uh, host marking pheromones the first one is sex pheromones it is isolated by the a butenand from the insect that is the silk moth the pheromones is bombi call this is the first isolated pheromones from the insect by this scientist What is sex pheromones? A substance generally produced by female to attract the male from for the purpose of only mating. And uh, these are the some of the sex uh, sorry uh, sex pheromone producing 
orders in that the lepidoptera having the uh, we can say that the highly evolved order in sex pheromones then uh, here if you see and the pheromones producing glands and the pheromone receiving glands or pheromone receiving uh, system present in insects in lepidopterans uh, the sex pheromones is mostly evolved in lepidopteran system or lepidopteran insects here in lepidopterans they produce by the irreversible glands that is present on the tip of the abdomen of the females and in case of males the aphrodisiac glands on the male insects at present a uh, scent brush at the tip of the abdomen and then uh, pheromone reception is that the female sex pheromones are visually received by the male which is uh, male uh, the olfactory sensilla which is present on the antenna it means that the pheromones release glands present at the tip of abdomen of the females and the pheromone receive system is present on the antenna of the male insects then if you see the chemical nature of the sex pheromones is that is nothing but the one of the large number of the carbon atoms and it is a primary alcohols and it is a slow dis release dispenser that are used as a lures in traps of a various designs then it is a volatile in nature species specific and related only to smaller number of the species and it depends on the distance from the male and female of the male and female then and these are the some of the uh, sex pheromones which is isolated from the insects and this is their chemical nature that is the bombicol gip lure gossip lure loop lure and queen substance bombicol isolated from the bombyx mole that is the silk moth or female silk moth gip lure it is isolated from the gypsy moth gossip lure it is isolated from the female pink bollworm loop lure from the from the female of the cabbage loop lure and the queen substance from the queen of the honeybee or the termites next is aggregation pheromones a substance produced by the one or both sexes that brings both sex together for feeding and the hurry productions these are the released by the members of the one sex only but elicit response in members of the both sex of the species for example bark and ambrosia beetle this uh, aggregation pheromones it is prominent in a some species of the beetles like a bark beetle it means that this aggregation pheromones it is highly evolved in the coleoptera order next alarm pheromones a substance produced by an insects to repel and disperse other insects in the areas and this reported in homoptera isoptera and hemiptera order and this alarm pheromone it is mostly common in social insects like ants bees wasps uh, the poison glands in ants sepalic glands in termites stings and mandibular glands of worker bees and the cornicles in aphids are the examples of the alarm pheromones Uh, in aphids, uh, if you see, there is a cornicle is there, and that cornicle is nothing but the one of the defensive structures, and it is one of the alarm pheromones. Then trail marking pheromones. The trail marking pheromones are substances of low persistence that are released and pursued by the individual in trails. Highly evolved in social insect like termites and ants. Ants release a formic uh, formic rufa, uh, use the formic acids as a trail markers. They fac uh, facilitates migration of colony. to new sites in a search of the foods this is a trial uh, marking pheromones uh, the ants associated with walking with the help of these pheromones then uh, bees are attracted towards the flower that is nothing but the trial marking pheromones and the bumble bees to increase the efficacy if you see in their use of pollination is also the with the help of the trial marking pheromones next one host marking or epidiatic or spacing pheromones this is highly evolved in diptera and hymenoptera order and for example the fruit flies mark the surface on the fruits after the oe position that is due to the host marking pheromones uh, here if you see uh, the mating deterrents pheromones house flies and other deterrents and the parasites to find their host species it means that the parasites also use the host marking or epidiatic pheromones to um, searching their host for their egg laying then what is the mostly we can say that the use of the pheromones in integrated pest management having a three uses monitoring mass trapping and mating dispersion for monitoring purpose how we can use this pheromones highly sensitive means of detecting both the presence and density of the pest species insect infestation can be detected and estimated at a very early stage can forward the regarding the outbreaks of the important pest to the uh, farmers 
and to, we can use a different control measure practices after the four ones. This is the monitoring techniques. This monitoring technique also helps in detecting the insect pest population in agro ecosystem, measurement of pest density, assessment of density of the natural enemies, assessment of the pest phenology, assessment of the effectiveness of the mating dispersion, monitoring of the insect resistance and the decision supports. Then next one is the mass trapping purpose. Catching substantial proportion of the pest population before mating OE position or the feeding prevents damage to the crops. Then effective results with combinations of the lures and traps. And effective for the pest which is geographically isolated and at a low density. In this mass trapping purpose, we can use a number of um, traps just to attract the insects. Then uh, especially lure has two types. Lure is used for killing purpose and lure used for the infecting purpose. For killing purpose, the methylogenol plus melatonin for oriental fruit fly it is mostly used. Then yeah, we can use the entomopathogenic nematodes, bacteria, and fungus or virus to kill the or to infect the uh, different insects with the help of these uh, pheromones. Then uh, these are different recommended pheromone traps for the mass trapping of the pest. Then uh, next uh, function is the mating uh, disruption. Uh, it confuses or decoy methods of the pest management to permit their uh, permit the air with uh, sex pheromones. Insect entering the area cannot locate mates emitting natural pheromones because synthetic pheromones permi permits the whole environment. Causes a uh, reduction of reproductive rates and actual crop production without use of the insecticides. In this picture, we can see here the different lures we can use to attract the different uh, male moth uh, in the agro ecosystem and these are the different lures we can use against different insect based populations it is available in market it is special uh, lures that is the pvc resin formulations that is nothing but the one of the lures this pvc is a plasticized polyvinyl chloride resin formulation lures we can uh, use in a rice crops against the yellow stem borer then this is the another new techniques that is the PB rope L is a twisted tie which release the same scent that female bollworms release to attract the males. These scents confuse the male adult, preventing them from the finding and mating with the female adult. This reduce the number of the eggs laid by laid, which reduce the population of the pink bollworm, resulting in less damage to the cotton. It means that this uh, PB rope L it is one of the twisted. Uh, pheromones we can specially use against the pink bollworm that is the major pest of the cotton and if you see the dose the 200 ropes per hectare we can use and uh, these are the different uh, pheromone traps available in markets against the different paste with the help of lures and this trap we can uh, monitor or trapping of the insect pest population uh, this is the dispenser dispensers that is nothing but the lures available in market. We can fix this lure in the pheromone trap to attract the uh, male insect. That is nothing but the uh, female sex pheromone lure. Then what is the advantages of the pheromones? Minor quantities of the pheromones are needed to attract and kill the large number of the insects and so they economical. They are non-pollutant and ecological acceptable. They are species specific so non-targets are spares. Pheromones method is labor saving since large number of the insects could be brought from the long distance right at doors for being destroyed. And these are the advantages, disadvantages. Pheromones for all the numerous pests are not yet known. Sex pheromones can attract only one sex. The other sex could still be there due to do the damage. The pheromonal control methods demand knowledge and the expertise which are not within reach for farmers only government agencies can provide them and quick results cannot be obtained from the pheromones they should based in ipm the next is that allular chemicals it is used in the interspecific communications it is nothing but a non-nutrient substance originating from the organisms which affect the behavioral conditions or ecological welfare of the organisms of another species and these allular chemicals affect on behavior growth and development of the insects and it is uh, a lot of chemicals the term given by the rh whitker scientists especially and there are five types of allelo chemicals allomons keromons synomons antimons and apnemons 
these are the different ways releasing the allelo chemicals from the plants vapor from roots and leaf through the stomata then foliar the roots then breakdown and decomposition the products of the dead plants parts and seed extract the first one olomas a chemical substance produced by organism that favorable to emitter but not to receiver that is nothing but the venom secreted by the social insects here uh, the production of the olomon is common form of defense particularly by the plant species against the insect herbivores for examples includes chemicals which depends your glands of the bugs grasshopper and the beetles in this slide you can see here the aphids that is the sphinculus which is uh, presents on the fifth and sixth segment of the um, abdomen of the aphids it releases the alomons that is uh, gives a bad order offensive smell and it uh, helps to reduce or avoid their natural enemies from their uh, body or from their uh, populations and in second picture you can see here this is the venom which is secreted by the uh, honey bees this is the alomons and these are some of the examples of the alomons the sting glands in bees and formic acid in ants and this alomons uh, nothing but the oral and anal discharge a toxic component in the hemolymph made available to replace bleeding glandular discharge bites and sting that are supplemented with a poison next keromons a chemical substance produced by organism that favorable to the receiver but not to emitter for example the ponderosa release the terpene myrcene is response to a western pine beetle feeding and the western pine beetle are attracted to myrcene increasing the infestation and the mycelin is a keromons benefiting the uh, white uh, western uh, pine beetle that is the keromons examples second and most important example that is the the male mosquito it is attracted to the odors of the flowers that is the nothing but the keromons cinnamons are the chemical substance which is uh, advantageous for the both emitter as well as the receivers the typical example is that flower fragrance is nothing but the one of the examples of the cinnamons the all the uh, social insect or bees or pollinators is attracted towards the flower fragrance is nothing but the cinnamons because uh, here the advantages for the both emitter emitter means the flowers flowers helps for the pollinations and receivers that the honey bee it is use uh, different pollen grains or the anthers for their pollen formation and the for uh, honey formation then types of allelo chemicals in that the first uh, next one is an uh, opnimons a chemical substance produced by the non living material that favorable to the receiving organism but detrimental to the organism of the another species that is found or on non living material the best example is a uh, we can say that the uh, this uh, moth sorry uh, wasp this is the species of the wasp it is attracted by the smell of the oatmeal which is food of its host that is the example of the opnimons Uh, this is the push pull strategy um, in the attractant and repellents a strategy where a host plant attractant and repellents are used in the combinations tested using a repellent intercrop and the attractant trap plants the insects are repelled by the volatile emitted from the intercrop and simultaneously attracted by the volatile from the trap plants the most successful work of the push pull to date has been conducted in africa to control the stem borer in the maize and sorghum works not only by decreasing the stem borer damage to maize but also enhancing the efficacy of the natural mg enemies that is the push pull techniques this is the push pull techniques uh, examples this also we can uh, see here uh, the red palm evil in coconut and it is attracted towards the pulling pheromones that is the push pull techniques this is all about the semi chemicals uh, by the, uh, it is uh, due to the insect behavior how we can manage this uh, semi chemicals in uh, our integrated pest management technique thank you